Okay, so um, first of all, what we need to do is actually is to build a connection manager. And a connection manager basically is a allows SQL Server integration services to reach outside of um, the program and basically grab hold of a hold of a file and within a um, package which pulls in data from multiple different sources you typically create, create do, uh, multiple different connection managers so you may create a connection manager for a particular Excel file you may create another um, connection manager connect to connect to say an Excel database file or another one to connect to a SQL server or a Oracle database so what we do is first of all um, it's actually worth noting to we need a a data flow task and essentially this data flow um, task within this control flow tab here is basically a envelope in which to include when which to build this um, ELT process so once we've dropped that onto the uh, into this uh, onto this uh, desktop we there isn't a hell of a lot else we do with that except we then can just double click on it and it'll take us through to this other tab here um, alternatively um, you can just click on the the tab either way it will take you through to this data flow tab and this is the where the real the grunt work happens this is where we do the do the real work so what we do is we need a, um, a connection manager so the easiest way to uh, create a connection manager is go down to the bottom of the page where this connection manager box is and then do a right click and you've got a we go say new connection and then it opens up all the potential connections so we have so you've got Excel connections um, flat file connections um, HTTP connections ODBC connections and it goes on so what we're going to do today is pull in data from just a standard text file a .txt um, extension and um, so what we'll do is just say it's from a flat file go add the connection manager like I'm saying this is a little bit slow because it's on my on my um, laptop but let's call it um, so we'll pull it from a file which contains segment information so we'll call it just segment segment data we then go and find that segment data and I can just taken us straight to it which is nice so segment only um, here we go all that sort of stuff default is fine probably about 80 or 90 percent of the time SQL gets it right in terms of well probably, yeah, probably about 95 percent of the time it gets it right uh, in terms of these default settings so I know that the column names at the top of the top of the row and then look at the columns yeah okay that all looks pretty good I know there's only 23 rows of data so 2 to 24 this is the real data we see that um, ID 15 is a, um, a Soho segmented customer and so is customer ID 21 is Soho segment and same as ID um, ID 3 then the final one ID 9 so we've got four Soho customers so it's always good just to um, just to remember that so you can just uh, double check that the data is fine obviously you can't do that in big data sets so there we go we've got a um, got a connection uh, manager down there and then what we'll do is so those connection managers can be used in multiple different places within the uh, data set so if we wanted to pull in a, a data a single data file a couple different times within the um, within the process for any reason or if you wanted to even copy this and paste it into another ELT process we could just copy that um, that uh, connection manager so what we need to do is put in a, um, a data flow source here and we'll just call this one um, this is the segment data so this was just sort of like a, a door in which to uh, into the ELT process for this um, segment data to come so there we go so it's by default because there is only one segment manager um, within this package uh, sorry one uh, connection manager within this um, package at the moment automatically populated it which is nice um, those are the uh, those are the columns 
and you can preview the data which I've all already done before that all looks pretty good so we've got our customers there great stuff so um, so we then um, just say OK so that all looks pretty good so that's the um, extract process we're extracting that segment file from the uh, from that folder within my computer um, now we want to do the transform uh, process so we have a whole range of data flow transformations um, here and what we want to do today is add a um, add a filter on onto it and we do that using a uh, conditional split so um, transformation and that conditional split will be so we're just going to pull out the Soho um, uh, segmented customers so in order to add a transformation to the um, to the process we connect up these um, nodes or boxes using the green arrow so I just drag that green arrow down to the conditional split now we double click on the conditional split and this is where we put in a, um, a formula so we know that and what I'd recommend is when you start off actually use the actual um, the the these sort of menus and drag down operators and things like that rather than just going doing it by hand because it's there are a few little odd things and I'll sort of demonstrate that so we want to pull in select just segment the Soho segment customers so you'd think you'd be able to just go so, um, Soho like that but what you see you've got an error coming up uh, so it doesn't like that and within SQL Server um, it has the, the syntax it's a little bit different than say what you get in Excel so the equals um, is actually a double equals as opposed to a single equal so we'll drag that down and when you define a filter you actually need brackets around it so this should now go black and well, oh, man, look at that. It's actually worked. So there's little quirky things like that, and so that's why I'd recommend to use the sort of pull down menus and drag and drops and stuff like that. Um, so I'll call this um, so um, Soho Seg. Okay. So that we'll just say Soho. Give that a name. Soho filter. That looks like that's fine. 